Hey there, I'm Louie, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to crochet a little tiny baby Yoda. If you'd like to follow along with the interactive written version of this pattern, use the link on screen now in the description below or by going to clubcrochet.com slash baby Yoda. You'll need a free account on my website to access it, but it also comes with uh, time codes to follow along with the video and little check marks so you can keep track of where you're at in the pattern. If you like this video, please make sure to like it down below, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're not already, and follow Club Crochet on Facebook or Instagram. Um, I'm at club.crochet on Instagram and at official Club Crochet on Facebook, I think. Um, there's also a Facebook group that you can follow and ask for help if you, along the way if you need any help. Um, also, if you can, please share a photo with me um, if you've crocheted this pattern. Uh, you can share a photo by using hashtag Club Crochet or tagging Club Crochet, or tagging me, uh, I'm your teacher, I'm at Louis Loops on Facebook, Instagram, uh, and Twitter, and on Reddit. So please share a picture with me. It helps me stay motivated to continue making these videos. Um, sometimes I don't really know how many people are actually making these patterns. Uh, it also helps me know what patterns are more popular than other ones. Other ones. So if you have any, um, oh, also if you have any recommendations, let me know in the comments down below or in the comments on any social media post. Just say like, hey, you should make this person. Uh, this pattern was actually uh, a suggestion by someone uh, I was going to make it anyhow, but it was nice that someone was also like, hey, you should make Baby Yoda. And I was like, hey, I'm already doing it. Uh, so if you have any suggestions, just let me know in the comments uh, or recommendations. Just let me know. Uh, I'd, I'd love to make something that you guys would actually want to see. Um, okay, so for this pattern, you're going to need the following materials. I'm using all worsted weight yarn in 100% cotton. And because I'm using worsted weight yarn, I'm using a size G 4 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need the colors green and beige. Now the great thing about this pattern is that it's all, uh, not only is it just worked in the round, but it's all worked, it's a no sew pattern. So you don't need to use any uh, sewing together. Uh, you, can, you can do some embroidery on the face, which is what I did to make eyelids and stuff. Uh, and you'll need to sew it closed. But other than that, it's all made in one piece, which is really, really cool. Uh, I really like that I designed it that way. Um, also, it's very quick to make. Uh, the length of this, this video is the entire length of me crocheting this pattern, and I'm going very slowly. So it's a nice, quick pattern. Uh, and yeah, I just I, it is a little bit difficult. The difficult parts are we're going to be doing some color changes. Um, you will uh, also need to learn how to do a split, which I'll be teaching you in this video. Uh, this video is kind of, I tried to do it so that it's made for a little bit for beginners. So like not really for beginners, but I go very slowly and I explain how to do every single part, including like the magic loop and stuff like that. So if you have any friends that don't really know how to crochet um, or are just starting out, this might be a good pattern. I don't know. It's pretty tough, but it's quick and you can actually see your progress as you're going. Um, oh, you'll also need a pair of scissors. I forgot to mention that and a darning needle um, to add that embroidery. You also need some stuffing and some safety bead eyes. I'm using eight millimeter safety bead eyes. I find that the bigger the safety bead eyes, the uh, more baby like the Yoda looks. Uh, but anything bigger than 10 millimeter looks a little weird. Um, six millimeter makes it really tiny uh, and it looks like a little bit of an older Yoda. I don't know. Okay, so enough of my ranting. Uh, let's get hooking. Um, and uh, yeah, all right, let's get hooking. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna take your beige yarn and you wanna grab just a little bit extra of it. Um, you just want it to the side, so go ahead and grab it in your hand and wrap it around your hand around 20 times. Um, one, two, three, 18, 19, and 20. That's probably good. And just cut it loose. Um, if you have access to the center of your yarn, you can also do it that way. Uh, but you'll need a little bit extra of this yarn because it gets a little complicated um, when we're splitting yarn. So just take a little bit of extra, throw it to the side, you'll need it in a little bit. All right, so to start the actual part of the pattern, we're going to start with the magic loop method in our green yarn. So hold your yarn like a little finger gun and wrap it around your hand three times, or finger three times, one, two, and three. Take this end and grab it with your middle and ring finger and bring it in like so. Now take your crochet hook, go under the first two loops here, and grab the third and pull it under the first two loops. 
Now grab the end where that uh, loop is being pulled from right here and pull that through the loop to create a chain and lock it into place. Now you can take it off your finger and we're going to start round one by doing six single crochets into the magic loop method or into the chain two method if you're using that. So we're just gonna single crochet six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. Okay, now we can pull this a little bit tighter. I like to pull the end to see which one of these gets pulled in. Okay, so it's this inside one here. And then I like to pull the back of this one to pull the other loop a little tighter. And then we can pull the other string just to pull it all tight. It's the magic loop method. Da 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 da. Here we go. That's going to be the end of round one. For round two, we're just going to be doing an increase into each stitch around. This pattern is worked in the round, so you don't need to turn it all. Um, so we're just going to count back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's our first single crochet that we made. Get our crochet hook in there. We'll do an increase into that stitch by doing two single crochets. Oops. Let's try that one more time. There we go. One and two. You want your gauge to be somewhat loose, but you know, tight enough so that you can't see through it, really. So there's our first increase. We're going to do an increase all the way around. Three and four. And this is going to bring you up from six stitches to 12 stitches. So by the end of round two here, we should have 12 stitches around. Okay, just a couple more. Oops, there we go. All right. Okay, so that's going to be the end of round two. Now, before we start round three, I'm going to go ahead and cut this yarn a little bit close because we don't really need this little thumb tail end. It just gets in our way and distracts us. <laughs> distracts me, at least. All right. So for round three, we're going to single crochet one into the first stitch. And then we'll do an increase into the next stitch. Okay, so a single crochet, then an increase, and we're going to repeat that six times total. So let's do our second repeat. Single crochet, and then an increase. And this is going to bring you up from 12 stitches. Here's our third repeat, single crochet, and then an increase. This is going to bring you up from 12 stitches to 18 stitches. So by the end of round three, you should have 18 stitches around. And that's actually as big as we're going to get for this pattern. Um, you'll always have 18 stitches around. Now, when we get to the split, it gets a little bit confusing where um, those 18 stitches are because there's like two rounds going at one time. But it's always going to be 18 stitches if you count around. Okay. There we go. That's going to be the end of round three. For round four, we're going to be making the ears. We're going to start by doing a single crochet into the first stitch. And now we'll make our first ear. We're going to chain uh, six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to work into the back loops of these chains. So if you look, there's the top loop and the bottom loop. If you turn it on its side there, you'll see this little spine of stitches. Those are the back loops. So we're going to go work into the second back loop. So skip that first one, get into the second one right here. You might need your nail to really help you get into there. It could be a little bit tricky. There we go. We'll pull it a little bit tighter now. And now we're going to just do a slip stitch into the first one. So pull through, and then we'll pull through a second time to make our slip stitch. And we'll do a single crochet into the next two. Okay, so here's the next one. Single crochet. Here's the next, next one. There's our second single crochet. And now we'll do two half double crochets. For half double crochet, we'll yarn over, go into the stitch, pull a loop through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. If you want to learn more about the half double crochet, um, just go to clubcrochet.com slash half double crochet, and it should take you to a little tutorial that I made. Okay, so that's going to be one of the ears done. Now we are going to single crochet into the next stitch. So here's where we came, uh, did our first single crochet. We want to skip that one, go into the next one. 
Okay, and we're going to single crochet eight more. So there's uh, eight total. So one, here is two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You should end on a little increase there. So if you look down, see there's two stitches right here? That means it's an increase. Uh, just to help you know where um, to be. All right, so now we're going to do our second ear. So we're going to chain six again. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We'll turn it on its back there. Skip our first chain. Go into our second chain from the hook. There we go, just into that back one. Now once we're in that chain, we can pull that loop a little bit tighter. And we'll do a slip stitch. So we're going to yarn over and go in. Do There we go. And then two single crochets. One. And two. Up. Oh, there, there we go. Two. And then we're going to do two half double crochets. One and two. There we go. All right, and to finish up round four, we're going to do nine more single crochets. So skip our uh, the one we just did. Go into the next one right here. And we'll do nine more single crochets. Okay. Just a couple more. All right, so here we are at the end of our round. That's going to be the end of round four. For round five, we're going to be working single crochets around these ears. And at the end of this round, we're going to change to beige slash green yarn. So be ready with our next, our, our beige yarn um, by the end of this round. Okay, so we're going to start by doing a single crochet into our first one right here. And we're just doing single crochets all the way around. But when you get to these ears, you want to skip the ear. I like to pull my loop out a little bit, pull the ear to the side, and then single crochet into the next stitch that the ear is attached to. So like right here. Okay, make sure the ear is on the other side of that stitch. And then I pull all the loops tight. And then finish up the, the single crochet. That's how I like to go around the ears. It makes it a little bit easier for me. So we're going to single crochet um, 17 in this green yarn. So just one before the last stitch, basically. So I'm just going to keep going around doing single crochets. And when I get to the end, I should have one more stitch in the round. I really like the new show, uh, The Mandalorian, with that this uh, pattern is based off of, the Baby Yoda from that. Um, I like it a lot. I'm only on episode six. At least there's only ep six episodes while I'm filming this video. Um, I think the next one comes out tomorrow. So I'm pretty excited to see where it goes from this. Uh, and I'm excited for the new movie. We'll see where it goes. I, I, I did not like the last one, but I'll, I think I'll like this one. I hope I'll like this one. Okay, so this is going to be our 17th stitch right here. Now we're going to change to beige yarn. Use the beige yarn that's attached to the ball, not the extra beige yarn that we cut. We're going to place it in between. Um, see how I'm like halfway done with this single crochet there? So I pull the loop through, but I haven't pulled a second loop to pull through those two. So you want to take the beige yarn, place it over between where the loops are and the, um, the end is that's attached to the ball. We want to take our index finger of our non-dominant hand Place it in between the two uh, uh, strands of yarn there and flip it under so that the beige is on the opposite side. See how it's flipped under there? And then we're going to yarn over with our beige and pull through the two loops to pull through with beige. Now this last stitch and the entire next round uh, are worked half beige, half green. What I mean by that is that the top of the stitch is going to be beige and the bottom of the stitch is going to be green. This makes a really um, clean stripe. 
So how we're going to do that is we're going to go uh, to flip over because now we, that we pull through with beige, next we want to use green. So we want to flip over. So we do the exact same technique. I take my index finger, place it in, in between the two colors and flip it under so that the, the green is over the beige. Then I'll go into the next stitch, pull through with our green yarn, and then switch back over using the same technique. Go between the two and flip it under. Yarn over with beige and pull through the two loops with beige. Okay, so that's going to be how we're going to do half color changes. If you'd like to learn more about half color changes, check out the link right here or by going to clubcrochet.com slash color two, I think. Uh, I, use, I have a whole video where I teach about these half color changes and how useful they can be um, with your, your uh, stitches. Okay, so for round, oh, that's going to be the end of round five, by the way. For round six, we're going to single crochet 17 times using this technique um, of half color changes, basically to this last green one right there. And then we're going to do a split, which I'll explain when we get there. So let's just continue doing these half color changes. Again, we're going to flip under so that the green is on top, go into the next stitch, pull through with green, switch back over so that beige is over the green, and pull through with our green yarn. There we go. And we'll just keep doing that all the way around. So let's just do another one. Ooh, if I can get my yarn. Green on top, into the next stitch, pull through with green, switch over to beige, pull through two with beige. If you like Star Wars patterns, um, I also have a bunch of other Star Wars themed patterns, uh, things that are very similar to this. So I have a Princess Leia. Um, I call them pod people. Uh, so I have a Princess Leia that looks a lot like this, and um, I have a full-grown Yoda that looks like this. Uh, and if you have any suggestions or any requests for patterns you'd like to see in the future, just let me know in the comments down below. Um, I definitely am taking requests. Uh, I'm always, I always want to see what people want me to make. In fact, this video is actually um, may, being made because of a request of someone else. I mean, I would have made it regardless because there's crocheted uh, baby Yodas everywhere and and I just like the show a lot. So I, I was making it anyhow. But if you, um, but it was also a, re a request by someone who said they'd really like to see this uh, pattern made. So yeah, if you have any requests, just let me know in the comments down below or in the comments of any social media post that I post on Club Crochet. Um, yeah, just let me know. Also, club crochet is entirely me. I don't know if anybody, if this is like a thing that people knew, but club crochet is just me. Uh, it, there's no one else that works for it. It kind of seems like it's a company, but it's really just me. <laughs> uh, eventually, I'd like to get patterns made with other people. And every now and then I do a kind of collaboration patterns. Uh, and I'd like to do a lot more of those next year. But for the most part, like all the editing and uh, the upkeep of the website, everything is just me. So if I'm slow responding and stuff, that's why. It's because I'm doing a, like there's a lot of different running parts here and I have a full time job. So, you know, I can only do so much. Uh, but yeah, yeah, just letting you know, just letting you know if you didn't. <laughs> OK, so we're at the end. Uh, this is going to be our last stitch in our 17 single crochets right here. We're going to go into the last, this last one, pull through with green. Now, before we finish this up, we want to grab our second strand of beige yarn. So grab our other bit that we um, wound and cut or from the inside of your beige ball of yarn, if you have access to that. We're going to place it in between the th color changes again, just like how we did with our last beige. Oh, wait, before we do that, I almost forgot. We want to untangle this yarn. So how we do that, so I'm gonna take, I'm gonna undo this last single crochet here. And I'm just gonna untangle it. See how it's all candy caned up? You wanna take the end where it stop, the tangle stops, like right there for me. And we're just gonna grab each strand with each, with two, both our hands, one with each, and just hold it up, and it'll just spin around and untangle itself. It's the easiest way to untangle it after doing half color changes. Okay, now let's continue that. So we're gonna go into that last stitch right here. And we're gonna do a split. So we're gonna take our second strand of beige yarn, place it in between the, um, the two strands that we already have working with and the other one, okay? And we're going to flip our new beige yarn, grab the other two in our index 
finger and flip it under so that the new beige yarn is on top. Yarn over with the new beige and pull through. Okay, now we wanna pull that loop out a little bit and we're gonna go back into those two loops. So back into both of these loops. Go one and two and we're gonna pull through with our second beige yarn. So here's, there's our first one. You can see if you pull it, it'll pull that loop a little tighter. So our second beige one is the one on the bottom right here. So we wanna flip that one under again, yarn over with that second beige and pull it through. Now you should have two loops coming out of the same stitch here. Now with the second loop, we're gonna call this one loop B and this one loop A. So with loop B, we're going to single crochet. Let's pull loop A's end just out of the way a little bit. With loop B, we're gonna go into the next stitch right here, but we only wanna go into the back loop or the loop that's furthest away from us. So we're gonna take a crochet hook, go into that back loop only, and we're going to pull through with our loop B beige yarn. Pull through, and we're gonna single crochet one. Okay, now we're gonna pull that loop out a little bit, go back to loop A, right here, and with loop A, we're going to single crochet into the front loop of the next stitch, so only into that front loop. Okay, there we go. There we go. And that's going to be the end of uh, round six. So it's kind of a confusing round. Round seven is probably maybe the most complicated round. So just bear with me. We're gonna start by just working with loop A. Okay, so the same loop that we already just pulled through with. We're gonna start by doing um, four half double crochets. So we're gonna yarn over, go into the next stitch, only into the front loop, front loop only. Okay, we're gonna do a half double crochet. So we're gonna yarn over and pull through, and yarn over again, and pull through all the loops on the hook, just like how we did in the ear. So there's one, we're going to do four of those. So yarn over, go into the front loop. Here is two, three, and here is our fourth. Now into the next stitch, we wanna do uh, all these next stitches into this next one. So we wanna do a half double crochet first. So we yarn over, do a half double crochet in the next stitch. Oop. We pull through with our second beige yarn. So we need to get that out of the way so that we don't screw that up again. So keep it just to the, to the side. I'm gonna keep it in my hand like that. Okay, so let's do our half double crochet. Now we want to chain two, one, two, and slip stitch into the same stitch you just made that half double crochet right there. Okay, and that's gonna create a little collar. Now we want to chain two again, one, two, and then we'll half double crochet in uh, the next 12 stitches. So we're gonna yarn over, go into the next stitch, and half double crochet. And we'll just continue those half double crochets around. Another Star Wars pattern that I have, and don't forget you're working only in the front loops, sorry. Um, another ha uh, Star Wars pattern that I have is a little tiny Millennium Falcon. Uh, I really think it's very cool. Uh, it's a very quick pattern, a lot like this. You'll need basically just this beige yarn and some light blue yarn. Um, it's really easy to make. You do have to sew the two pieces together, but it's, it's if you can do this pattern, you can totally do the um, Millennium Falcon pattern. So you should check it out after this. I'll put a link at the end of this video. Okay, so we're just going around. Here is, let's count how many, just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. Eleven and twelve. There we go. Now into this single crochet, the first one in our split that we made with loop A, we want to do a slip stitch. So go into there, do a slip stitch. And cut the yarn. You don't need to cut, you don't need to have a long end here. Just right there is probably fine. And just pull it through. We're gonna do what's called a hidden end with this loop, or with this strand. So we're gonna take our darning needle. You can do this later also if you want, but I find it easiest to do it now. 
We'll thread that on a needle. And we're just going to go into the back of the next stitch. So into the back of this stitch right here. This is the stitch we just worked into. This is the first half double crochet we made. Go into the back. And then go back in where this end is coming out. So if you look, here's where that end's coming out. You want to go back in there. And then just down and come out, just like hiding it into some ends there. And you want to come out using the um, the back loop that we single crocheted in for from loop B there. So just come out right there. And the reason we want to come out there is because we're going to crochet around it for our stitches in the next round just to hide it in there. Okay. All right, so now we want to go back to loop B. We want to go to this other loop right here, our other beige loop, pull it through, and hopefully you still have your green yarn attached because you're going to have to do some weird stuff in this one. So first we're going to single crochet one. Oh, first, first, we want to pull this collar up, just like that, and that will reveal where all the back loops are to make it a little bit easier. Now place it in there, pull it a little tighter. And we're going to do a single crochet into the next back loop right here. It's the first one. Boom. Single crochet one. And now uh, now that we have worked around this beige one, we can cut it pretty loose. We just need to work around it once and just throw it to the side. We don't need that end anymore. Okay, so there's our first single crochet. Into our next stitch, we want to do a bobble stitch. Now, a bobble stitch is going to be a little tricky, and we want it to be all green. Um, so just, it's it's not that tough, but it can be a little bit weird. So first we want to take our green yarn, place it over the beige one, and we want to yarn over with our green yarn. Go into the back loop, next back loop right here. There we go. Yarn over a second time with our green yarn and pull through. Yarn over a third time with the green yarn and pull through the two green loops. Okay, so kind of like you're making a double crochet. Now we want to repeat that process four times, okay? Total. So there's our first repeat. Let's do our second repeat. We're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Let's do it again. Yarn over, into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, just one more. Yarn over, into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two. Okay. Now to finish this up, we're gonna switch over to our beige yarn. So we're gonna flip it under, yarn over with our beige yarn, and pull through all the loops on the hook. There should be five loops total. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. That's gonna be how we're gonna be making the arms and the legs for this pattern. Now you're going to want a single crochet seven times uh, between arms. So let's do our next single crochet. We're going to work into the next stitch. So this is the one we just worked into. So you want to work into this one and make sure to work around our green, the green yarn there. And you want you can work around the green the whole way, all seven stitches. There's one single crochet, two, three, four, five, six, and here is seven. And you can pull through with our beige yarn. This makes sure that the top of the loop is beige, just like how we did in the other round. Um, it makes it a little bit of a cleaner stitch. Okay, so now we're gonna do another arm. I'm gonna go a little bit quicker now. We're gonna yarn over with our green yarn, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two. And we'll repeat that four times, yarn over, into the stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, into the stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Oops, two, there we go, there's three. Yarn over, into the stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. This gonna be our fourth one. Should have five loops on the hook. Switch over to our beige yarn, yarn over with beige yarn, and pull that through all the loops on the hook right there. Now we're just going to, uh, to finish up this uh, this using loop B here, we're going to single crochet seven more times. We'll work around this green just for our first stitch. So there's a single crochet, worked around the green. Now we can cut this 
And we'll come back to this green when we come to the legs, but for now we don't really need it. And we'll single crochet seven times. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and here is our seventh stitch. Okay, and for our last stitch in this round, we're going to work into the stitches from loop B to reconnect the split. So here's our stitches from loop B. Into both loops now, we're going to do one single crochet. Okay, that's going to be the end of round seven. For round eight, we're going to keep this collar up for right now, and we're just going to do 16 single crochets in beige yarn. Um, basically, we're going to... Well, let's just start doing that. We're just going to be working into both loops, doing 16 single crochets. And the reason we're doing 16 and not going all the way around is because we're going to uh, stop at the end of this round to make the, uh, the face. And then we're going to come back to it. And you don't want to finish the round because at the end of this round, we're going to be doing another split. Uh, so it can be a little complicated before you... If you do that before you add the face, it's a little bit easier just to do all these single crochets, um, 16 of them, and then come back to, to finish it up uh, after creating the face. Whew, that was a long-winded way to say that, huh? <laughs> okay, so we got, let's see, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. and here is 16 okay so uh, if you are if you want to make sure that you're right uh, there should be two more stitches in this round right there and there should be four stitches before the hand so there's one two three four and there's the hand okay now we're just gonna pull this loop out a little bit we can put the um, his his collar down Flip it under. There we go. And we can add the face. So first we want to use our safety eyes. So here are the safety eyes I like to use. Uh, the smaller the safety eye, to me, the smaller safety eye, the older the Yoda. So I use tiny uh, six millimeter safety eyes for the eyes for our other Yoda. But this one just gets these little ones. Now the placement of the, um, the eyes, I like to go one stitch over from the ear, there's one stitch over, and then one down. So it's just above the collar, right there. Just place that in that stitch. Okay, and we'll take the other eye and do the same thing on this part. We go one stitch over and one stitch down. So right there. Just place that into the stitch. We'll look at them to make sure we like it. Yeah, that looks adorable. Now we'll take these ends and we'll lock them into place. If you want to learn more about safety eyes, check out my five creative ways to use safety eyes video. Um, it's a great tutorial, not only for how to use safety eyes in general, but uh, different ways to customize it. And we'll be using one of those customized ways in just a second. So just go ahead and lock that on. Okay. Make sure it's all good. There we go. Now we want to do a little bit of embroidery. Uh, this is not necessary. Like, you know, he looks adorable right now. But I'm going to add some eyelids, uh, you know, going back to that creative ways to use eye, uh, safety eyes video. You're going to want to take a little bit of our green yarn. You don't need very much. That's about it. And we're going to thread it on a needle. We're going to start, I have a very specific way that I do this. We're going to start by coming out through the stitch to the right of the eye, right there. Right here. We're going to pull it almost all the way through. About that, that, yeah, that's pretty good. And we're going to go across the eye and into the center of this stitch. So not right here. This is where you, you're going to want to put it, but that's not right. You want to go in between this stitch right there. There's going to be a little loop. Okay, so just right like that. And this is going to create a lower eyelid to make it more, a little bit more Yoda-y. 
Okay, now we're going to add a tiny nose. So we're going to work our way across as well while we're doing this. And we're going to count over, let's see, we're going to go one, two, three, let's see, and, and let's see, one, two, three, and we'll go one, two, three. Yeah, that looks good. So we're going to come out through the center of this stitch, three stitches away. In through the center, like right, there we go, right through the center of that guy. There we go. And we're going to go over a stitch and go into the center of the next stitch right here. Boop, give him a little tiny nose. And we're gonna, we're gonna increase that in just a second as well. Now we're gonna go through the center of the stitch on the other side of the eye, so right, right there, okay? And then around and onto into the middle of that stitch right under the other ear. See how our guy's looking? Yeah, that's cute. That's cute. It just gives it a little bit of soul. Now we want to add just a little bit, one more eyelid. I usually don't add an upper eyelid, but um, I like to for this case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out. Let's go with the stitch just, um, let's go in between the stitch above right here. And we're going to go back down through where we came in for the other eyelid right here. And see how that looks. Yeah, just give him a little bit of like sadness. It's not really sadness, but an upper eyelid. And then we're going to come back out through uh, our nose. We're going to re-embroider our nose, but the other way around this time. So we're going to come out through the center of that stitch again. And this, this is kind of a dual purpose here. Not only are we re-embroidering the nose, but we're also coming back to the other eyelid so we can put the other um, upper eyelid up. And we're going to go back down through the center of the next stitch, just like re-embroidering that nose. There we go. And then we're going to come out through the center of the stitch above the eye right here. Right there. And this whole time, you don't need to pull it too tight, by the way. And then we're going to come back down through the corner of the eye right here. And we can double knot these ends. And that should finish up the face. There we go. Just a nice, just a nice little cute Yoda. It just adds a lot. In my opinion, it adds a lot. Um, okay. Now we're going to take these two ends and just double knot them on the inside. And then we can get back to our pattern. One. And two. There we go. We can cut the yarn on the inside. And just throw that to the side. You can use that for stuffing our piece uh, in a little bit. Okay, let's make sure this collar is on him sufficiently so we really like it. Yeah, you can see how he's coming together. It's it's really, really coming together. Okay, so now we're back to crocheting. We want to continue uh, into this round eight here. Pull our loop a little tighter. Okay. So we did our 16 single crochets. Now we want to do one more single crochet, but before we finish it, we want to grab our other strand of beige yarn that we have. Remember our other uh, little tiny ball? So we're going to do another split. So we can place this in between, and we're going to start by changing over to this new color of beige. We'll hold it down with our index of our dominant hand, take our non-dominant index finger, place it in between, and flip it under, yarn over with our new beige, and pull it through the two loops. And we're just going to pull this out a little bit and go back into the stitch under these two beige loops. One, two, and we're going to grab the other strand of beige yarn. So if you want, pull the first one a little bit so you know it's not that one. Then you can put the other one on top of it. And we're going to pull through with our second loop. We're going to call this loop B and our first one loop A. 
and we're going to uh, finish up this round by doing a single crochet into the front loop with loop B and in, or into the back loop with loop B and into the front loop with loop A. So we're using loop B currently. We're going to go into the back loop of the next stitch right here and do a single crochet. Oops. Let's try it again. There we go. And just do a single crochet into that one. Now we can pull that loop out a little bit, go into the first one, into loop A, pull that a little tighter, and single crochet into the front loop of the next stitch because we just worked into that back loop. Right here. You might need your nail to get it a little bit better. All right, and that's going to be the end of round eight. For round nine, we're going to start by using loop A here. And we're going to just do 17 half double crochets. And okay, that's that's it. Just 17 half double crochets. So we're going to yarn over, go into the front of the front loop. Oh, and we're working only in the front loops, just like how we did before. So just 17 half double crochets. We're essentially making his little skirt. So we got one, two, three. This way it covers the, the feet a little bit. Four. Five and six. Seven. Oh, here's eight. And if you like this pattern, uh, again, if you haven't liked below, go ahead and please do that now. Um, but also, if you like this pattern, consider becoming a Club Crochet member. Um, members get early access to patterns like this. Um, they get exclusive patterns. I come out with a new exclusive Club Crochet member pattern every single month. Uh, this pattern was for a little Santa, but the other Star Wars patterns are also exclusive patterns. So like uh, Princess Leia, you get access to that. You get access to all these library of patterns and each one has a video tutorial just like this and a downloadable um, PDF. So it's, it's pretty cool. I think it's totally worth it. Um, it's $5 a month, but uh, you get a free trial if you want to sign up right now. Okay, so here's going to be our last half double crochet into our last stitch right here. Um, this is going to be just the last one right, right there. Okay, and we'll do that half double crochet. And now we're going to do a slip stitch into the first stitch that we made right here. Okay, so just into that one, we want to do a sl slip stitch. And we can cut the yarn. Here's uh, the end of our yarn, so you can see how close we were by doing 20, 20 times around your hand. So 20 gives you actually a little bit extra, but you know it's better to be safe than sorry. So we cut the yarn, pull it through, thread the end on a needle, and we're going to do that hidden end technique again. So again, we're going to go into the back loop of the next stitch right here, just like that then into where this end is coming out, right here, and kind of hide it going down into the same back loop where your first, where the loop B is coming out of right there. So we can work around it for just a stitch, just to lock it into place. Okay, so now we want to flip this under so that all the back loops are more presented for us. Okay. There we go. That's pretty good. All right. Now we want to grab our um, loop B, pull it a little tighter on our needle or on our hook. And with loop B, we're going to start by single crocheting three. Um, for the first stitch, we're just going to single crochet around our beige yarn here. And again, we're only working in these back loops. So don't forget about that. So there's our first single crochet. Now we can cut this, or I guess we don't really need to cut it, but we'll cut it anyhow. Put it to the side. There's our first single crochet. Now we'll do a second single crochet right here. And with our third single crochet right there, we want to grab our green yarn. So grab your green yarn, place it in between the end and the two loops, and just pull through with your beige yarn to lock that green yarn into place. Might need a little bit extra just in case. 
just pull it a little tighter to make sure it's tight. And now we're going to do another uh, leg or, or another bobble stitch right into the next stitch um, using our green yarn. So let's do our bobble stitch again. We're going to flip, uh, I guess we can flip under like this, yarn over with our green yarn, and go into the next stitch and do a bobble stitch. We're going to go into the next stitch, pull through with green, yarn over, and pull through two. And repeat that four times total. So let's do another repeat. We'll yarn over, into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. I go a little quicker now um, because we've made... This, is, this will be our third one. We're going to have one more after this. Okay, so here's our four bobble stitches. Then we're going to yarn over, or switch over to our beige yarn, yarn over with our beige yarn, and pull through the five loops on the hook. Now go into the next stitch. We're going to single crochet one, just around this green yarn to hold it into place. Okay, now we're going to single crochet four, actually. So there's our first. So one, all in beige. Go two, three, and four. We can pull through with our beige. And now we want to do a another bobble stitch in green. So I'll just go ahead and do that. I'll flip it under, yarn over with green, go into the next stitch and do our green bobble stitch. I'll go, I'll go a little bit quicker. I've made I don't know, hundreds of these bobble stitches, hundreds and hundreds. I mean, I might be over, well over a thousand by now. Okay, and then we're going to switch back over to beige, yarn over with beige, and pull through all the loops on the hook with beige. Okay, now we'll go ahead and single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, and we're going to finish up uh, round nine before we get to uh, back to our split. We're going to single crochet uh, eight times. So there's our first. So we do one. Um, now that we've done our first single crochet, we can cut our green yarn, throw that to the side, and uh, we'll do the rest of our single crochets. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and here is our eighth. And to finish up round nine, we're going to single crochet one into the uh, both loops of our first stitch using loop B right there, okay? So just both loops of that, we're gonna do a single crochet. And that will reconnect us out of our split. Um, we're gonna go ahead and leave these up for right now till we finish our pattern, but uh, when you're done, we're going to put the, put the skirt thing down and the, the collar down. Okay, so for round 10, uh, our second to last round, we're going to start by single crocheting one, and now we're going to do a sharp decrease, not a single crochet two together or an invisible decrease, a sharp decrease. To do that, we're going to go into the next stitch, pull a loop through, then into the next next stitch right here, pull a secondary loop through, and pull that second loop through the two on the hook. There we go. And we're going to repeat that process of doing a single crochet, then a sharp decrease, six times total. Okay, and that's going to bring you down from 18 stitches to 12 stitches. So let's do another one, single crochet. Here's our second repeat, and sharp decrease. So into the next stitch, pull through, into the next next stitch, pull a second one through, pull that second one through the two on the hook. This sharp decrease is used to really pull our piece in uh, very quickly uh, and create a very flat bottom so that way he can uh, sit up really easily. So we'll just keep doing the single crochets and our decreases, uh, six repeats, single crochet and a decrease. We come to the end here, single crochet. Here should be our last one. There we go, and you should have 12 stitches now. And now you want to uh, stuff it slightly. Um, I'm gonna use all of our ends of yarn, and so, that, you know, little to no waste if that's possible. There we go. It's just easiest to stuff it uh, now. Not like totally, but a decent amount of stuffing right now. Let's put a little bit more stuffing in there. Okay, you don't want to stuff them too much. There we go. And now we'll get back to it. 
for our last round, round 11, we're just going to decrease into each stitch around. So pretty easy, just instead of doing that single crochet, then a decrease, we're just doing a decrease into each stitch. One, two, and pull that second one through. There's one, two, three, four, five, and here's our last one, six. There we go. Now we can cut the yarn and just pull it all the way through. And we're going to add just a little bit more stuffing so that he's not too um, deflated. You don't need very much. I like to use the back of my crochet hook. Um, but if you don't have a crochet hook with a rubber back and you're using like a wooden or a metal one, uh, then consider using a um, pencil. And a pencil with an eraser is also equally as useful as a rubber crochet hook. Okay. There we go. Pretty stuffed, but he's not too stuffed. So that's pretty good. We're going to take our end here and we're just going to sew it closed. Now I have a video to teach how to sew closed. Um, you can check it out here or go to clubcrochet.com slash sew closed. Uh, or I'll just show you how to do it really quick. So I'm just going to count up uh, our stitches. So we got uh, this is going to be our zero stitch. That's a stitch we just worked into. So we're going to call that zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six is where that end is coming out. So you want to count to three. So we got zero, one, two, three. Go in through the top of three and then back out through our zero right there. Pull that through. Now don't pull it too tight just yet. We're going to go in through the top of four to the right of three. So four, come out, go under, and come out of one. And now once you've pulled through one, you can pull the back of this one to pull that first stitch tight. So see our first one, let's pull that tighter. Now we can pull through four, or one rather. Now we're gonna go in through five right here, out through two right there. Okay, now once we're once we're through, we can pull that first one tighter and go through. And to finish this up, we'll go through six, which is gonna be, here's where five was in. Go through the inside right there. Come out somewhere through the back. Pull that first one tight. Pull very tight. Go back in through where you've come out and come out somewhere on the bottom to create a little tiny knot. I like to really make it there we go, just through the center of some stitches. And we'll just pull that tight. We can cut the end nice and close. And we can flip the skirt down and the collar down. Make sure it's flipped down all the way. Let's tweak the ears a little bit. There we go. Now we have a little tiny baby Yoda that will learn to use the force and save the planet. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, again, please like it down below. Um, share it with a friend or with me using hashtag Club Crochet on social media. Um, you can follow us and uh, yeah, you can check out more Star Wars patterns by going to clubcrochet.com slash Star Wars or using the link on screen now. Thank you guys so much again for watching and for creating this pattern. Um, I really, really appreciate it, uh, and I really hope you like it. Uh, thanks so much again. Pasta la pizza, and happy hooking. Bye. I'll have them do some baby noises. So this is my best baby noise.